OK, so what are you creating today? Yesterday, brilliant. Love the crispy chicken. What have you got? Right, we've got another Asian dish. So we've got a beef and eggplant hot pot. Brilliant. Sounds good, huh? Yeah, it sounds good. So but look, at all, yeah. look at all these ingredients there. We've got star anise, we've got cinnamon, ginger, kaffir lime, chilli, soy. You know, you're going to braise it all in a, in a beautiful sort of Asian-flavoured yeah. master stock. Nice work. Oh, great. Looking forward to this, and we will get the details very soon. Yeah, great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen. And Mark, we're making a Chinese hot pot this morning. We certainly are. Yeah, I love a hot pot. So we've got our sirloin steak, we've got our eggplant, everything that Chuck we steak. need. Chuck steak. Chuck steak. Chuck ah, steak. So cheaper cut of cheaper. meat. Cheaper. Brilliant. Yeah, it's so a really cheap, full of flavour, but you need to cook it longer. OK, cool. So, you can show us how to do that. Exactly. So perfect for uh, like a Chinese hot pot. Nice. We're doing today. Right, got a pan on here, a little bit of oil. Yeah, nice and hot. And then I want to start browning this um, steak off. I'll oh, see so you cube it up. Yeah, so, but I'm going to leave it nice and chunky. Nice okay? And nice. So, nice big chunks of meat. Oh, good. And then you can um, brown all this brown off. Brown it off? Yeah. Okay, chef, I can handle that. Nice work. Yeah, I'm hot pot time. <laughs> right, we'll get that in there. So, yeah. nice, nice and hot. Cool. Brilliant. There you go. There's a spoon Thank for you there. Right, and then we're going we're gonna to cook the hot pot in this pot here. So we're just going to bring some ingredients in now. So no, we've got some using? cinnamon stick. Cinnamon. So it's a nice bit of sweetness and some star anise. So really good um, flavour, Chinese flavour in there. Nice. And that's going to go in there. We're going to leave them in whole. So we want the flavour. And I'm just going to lightly toast that in the pot, just with no oil, just for a minute or two, just to start those um, flavours coming out and toasting those spices. And then we've got some ginger. So I've just peeled it. We're going to do some nice slices of ginger. That's going to go in our hot pot. How's the uh, beef? Looking good. Oh, look at that. Browning really nicely. Look at that. Yum. All right, so after a minute or two of just dry toasting those spices, now you can add a little bit of oil. I can see you dry here. toasted them. Yeah, hey, dry toasted them. I can smell those flavours already straight away. Just starting to release those flavours. And now we're going to put the ginger in. And you're just going to sort of start warming and um, sautéing off the ginger and release those flavours in there. OK, and quite nice big rustic chunks of ginger too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite, fancy quite a, rustic, it, uh, a rustic dish. Yeah, great. Uh, we've got some chilli. So leave a little bit of chilli for some garnish after and then we'll split the chilli lengthways, do it in half and lengthways, and we're going to leave it in quite nice sort of, you know, nice pieces. If you want, you can de-seed now, so you don't have those little um, pesky seeds okay, when you eat you, the dish after. You just scrape it out. Yeah, so okay, you, can just, you can just scrape it out, you know, it's fine. You know, if you want it a little bit sort of toned down with the heat, take the seeds out. Um, if not, throw them all in. Mike likes it spicy. <laughs> I'm getting used to the spice. Spice oh, no, is yeah, yeah, loving it. Loving spice it. Spice is flavour. Right, some kaffir lime leaves. So these are great. Loads of flavour in there. So just leave them whole. But you can just scrunch them up, give them a little tear. You know, release all those oils. They go in. And you can see we've got a nice browning on there. Yeah, that's looking which good. Which is really good. You can do it in, all in one pot if you want. Right. You know, it just takes a little bit longer. But I'd get the meat to that stage, and then I'd start introducing all the things. But you'll probably still have to dry toast the uh, spices. But it just speeds up the process. Nice. Doing it in two pots. Nice work. Right, so that goes in. We can pop all the meat in here now. OK, great. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah. OK, nice. Just like that. Don't mind any of that extra fat going in there? No, no, a, li a little bit's all right, because we've got some of the, uh, the flavour from the meat. Brilliant. Yum. OK, so you quickly, basically, sizzle it away in yeah. the pot as well. So just give that a few more minutes just to sort of soften all those flavours in there, get those flavours into the beef, and then we'll come back and then we'll start adding all our liquids to braise our beef. Mm. Yum. OK, brilliant. Now we need to finish off this hot pot. It is smelling incredible. So that's what we've got at the moment. Right, so we've got all the aromats in there. We've got the meat, which has yep. been browned in there. Right, we need to add some liquid. So a little bit of fish sauce. Fish sauce. Goes in there. Soy sauce. OK goes in there and then we've got some stock no matter what sort of stock you use what uh, are you using uh, this is just the chicken, chicken stock. stock you could use a vegetable stock well if you use a vegetable stock and it's vegetarian you want the beef <laughs> you in it. want the beef um, in you, or you could just use some water you know okay. that's fine i've got a little bit of sugar in there just to balance it out okay sweet and you've used brown right, sugar in. there. Doesn't matter what sugar. Demerara sugar. Demerara sugar. Just a bit oh. nicer flavour, but you can okay. use any sugar. Nice. That's fine. Bring that up to the boil, put a lid on it, turn it down, and just simmer it for a couple of hours until that meat is nice and tender. And 
Here's one I made earlier. I oh, know, and it smells so, incredible. So come over here. I actually do this in the pressure cooker. So oh, in the pressure nice. cooker, about 45 minutes. It's brilliant. It's the pressure cookers are the future. Future. It is. Yes, you're right. So it's excited. <laughs> and, I, and the smells coming from this. It's fragrant. It's zesty. It's just got a beautiful kick. And it's like a master stock now. You know, you've got all that flavour in this uh, stock, which is around the beef. The beef is nice and tender. So it's a good time now to put the eggplant in. Okay, good. So if you weren't using a cooker pressure. A pressure cooker. <laughs> <laughs> about about probably about two hours on okay. a light simmer. Oh, thanks. Two hours, or put it in a slow cooker and, and then just do it really slow. <laughs> a cooker slow. <laughs> a cooker slow. Put it on a slow cooker. Cooker slow. Put it on a pressure cooker. <laughs> Cook it pressurised. Anyway, just go back to your eggplant. <laughs> Stick lid on <laughs> Thank it. You. <laughs> Thank um, you. Control room. <laughs> right, so we've got the eggplant here. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it in nice, uh, nice chunky pieces. Okay. And then all we're going to do now is we're going to pop it in. And you can see there's quite a lot of liquid in here. But this is what you want because when we put the eggplant in there and we're going to still cook it for probably another sort of 45 minutes okay. to an hour, you know, the eggplant's going to soften up, but it's going to be like a sponge. It's going to like take up all those... Um, Beautiful uh, juices in that sauce. That's amazing. It's so good. There's going to be so much flavour in here. You know, it's going to sort of um, bulk it out a little bit with the eggplant. It's going to be great. We we'll save that little bit of chili for later. Thank you. We're going to slice, <laughs> slice that. There's yeah. only a little bit there, so I'll make sure you get it. And is it for the garnish at the end? Yeah, a little bit of garnish and uh, serve it with some rice on the side. And that is uh, a real hearty, full of flavour dish. That is beautiful, Mark. Honestly, the smells are incredible. Make it at home. You can get the full recipe and the ingredients on our website. Thank you again, Mark. I'm going to miss your cooking while I'm away. So you can see that eggplant is just um, it's just softened and sucked up all that juice. It's going to serve it up now. Nice. So it looks quite thin still, the uh, liquid, but, you know, don't be fooled. There's so much flavour in there. It is. I've tasted it. It tastes delicious. Serve it with a little bit of rice, and that is a great, tasty, hearty meal. Look at that. Oh, mm. yum, yum, yum. Hop, hop.